everybody. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. I am going to go ahead and get started. I'm sure some people will be popping in and out. Um, but I have been asked to make a video showing my wood grain process. I've gotten a lot of great feedback um, on YouTube about my process and people wanting to know how to do it and had somebody contact me through Instagram asking me to do another live video. So here it is. Um, so if you don't know what I'm talking about, um, these are just a few examples. So I do the stainless steel tumblers um, with the wood grain pattern. And I'm also experimenting and doing glass. So I've done, this is a glass, um, glass, wine glass. So I'm working with that, actually making like 20 of these for somebody. And I've done it with, whew, got a little glare, done it with a beer mug. You can see that. So pretty cute, right? So today I am going to show you how to do that um, on a stainless steel, steel tumbler. Um, the things that you need to know beforehand is one, this is my tumbler. Um, this tumbler has been spray painted with the Rust-Oleum um, Blossom White. So that is that. I am using 91% alcohol. I hate that that glare is there, but I'm using 91% alcohol, which I have in a little cup that I've gotten from the Dollar Tree. I am using um, these alcohol inks. I'm starting to make my own though, so I'll have a video out soon with the process of me making my own alcohol inks. If you look behind me, um, those are actually the alcohol inks that I've made, much bigger, um, so more cost efficient. But for today's thing, I'm using latte and I am using honeycomb. So I'm using those two colors. I also have makeup brushes. I've been asked, where did I get my makeup brushes? I don't use makeup. So um, these are the makeup brushes. I bought these from Walmart, but I have a set that's on its way to me for like 32. That was $7 and something cent from Amazon. So I'm gonna put that link below um, because it's just moving that alcohol inks around. So now that I have said all of that, the first thing that you need to do, oh, and the last thing that I have down here is a napkin because you need that to brush off some of the dampness off of your brushes. So you've seen me, hey everybody, again, I am going to put the camera facing down so that you can have a good view of what I'm doing. So I'm gonna face the camera down because that's one of my biggest comments other than it looks great is that you can't see the process. So I'm going to face the camera down. So I'll see you guys at the end of this, but you're just going to have a really good view of the actual tumbler. So let me move this down. And so there's the tumbler. It is on my PVC pipe, but I also sell these in my Etsy store. Just something to be able to hold your thing on if you're putting on a decal or something like that. So this process is really um, the first part of the process is you're taking your largest makeup brush um, you're gonna dab it a little bit into that alcohol that you have and my alcohol is gonna turn colors just because I've used this to make others then you're gonna take some of that alcohol off using your paper towel um, there are some people who use um, foam brushes, which I kind of like um, just to put the base coat on because the foam brushes, you would just put the alcohol ink straight onto the foam and then you could make your streaks going um, down your cup. And I'm actually going to grab a foam brush so you can see that process. So, ah, Alright, sorry about that. So I'm going to use this foam brush just so you can see a quick coat of, but you can also do that with this just by putting 
some a dot of each color on your tumbler and then spreading it around with your brush so either way um, with this foam brush I am not going to put um, alcohol on it first I am just gonna put a couple of drops of each color uh, onto the foam and then I am just gonna simply do like this all the way around so and when it runs out you just add a couple of more brushes so now that that's like that I'm just gonna this has an orangey tint to it that I don't really want but I'm not gonna grab another So again, you're just taking your brush and you're moving that alcohol ink around. So and normally I I thought I was using latte, but I have grabbed caramel. So I'm gonna finish this in caramel, but the latte will for the cup that I'm trying to do, actually I need the latte because it's going to be more it gives you more of a lighter like this color so if you wanted latte and you wanted this color you out use latte and not caramel but since i have a caramel on here now i'm gonna finish it um so again you're just using the two colors And you're just spreading that onto um, your tumbler. So once you have a good coat on and you want to make sure that you get the bottom of your tumbler first, some people do the bottom first. I don't really think it matters as long as you come back and um, go around those edges because it'll make like little lines on your edges. So once you do that, then I would stop with the foam brush. Some people, this is like all they do. Um, I think to give it a little bit more definition, a little bit more flair, you wanna go ahead and use the makeup brushes as well. Um, so again, you're just taking your makeup brush and you are um, spreading that alcohol ink around so hopefully when I put this out on Facebook and not on Facebook on YouTube people who will stop telling me I can't see it's beautiful but I can't see so once you have the desired look um, and putting it all on, because as you can see, this kind of gives it that wood grain feel already. Um, you're just going to then decide what else you want to do with it. Like some people could just leave this like this and be done with it, put on a decal, and then they have a nice tumbler. Um, so this side right here has a little bit more alcohol ink than the other. So I am going to now use a different size brush. Da -da 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 -da. So much smaller than the first brush, just so you can have a comparison. Ah, trying to do this and it's upside down. Ah, where is it? Ah. <laughs> okay, so you can see there's a big difference in the brush size. Yeah. And so I'm going to dip this one. And again, you don't want too much alcohol, regular alcohol on your brush because then it's, it's too wet for what you're, what you would want to do. So for me, if I'm doing a knot at the bottom, I'm trying to make sure you can see this. If I'm doing a knot at the bottom, the only thing you're doing is you're pushing the ink into a shape that you desire. 
So I normally make at least one nice size oval kind of shape. Not I've actually been taking pictures of wood grain on tables and things of that sort so that I can start mimicking some of those patterns. But as you can see, that's all I'm doing. I'm just moving this ink around. I'm going to do that consistently going around over the edge of the cup as well so that I can connect that. So as you can see, it connects at the bottom too. So that's a nice little shape for me. So here I am just going to go start pushing a second layer of the ink that's already on the tumbler up. And all, as you can see, I mean, just an easy process. You're just pushing, you're coating the um, tumbler with the ink and then you're just pushing it around. So, um, and you wanna make sure, like I said, that you just do whatever you do on the side. If you have one going underneath that you continue that pattern underneath. So already there's a second ring there. Um, and let me see. So we're gonna keep going. Hi, Frazier. Hi, Logan. I can barely see who's like on, but I see your names. So thank you for joining me. Um, but again, so I am doing the third same thing, just pushing up another layer. Um, and I've been doing these, I'm doing these right now for the soft, a softball team and they're using them to raffle off um, so that they can, so they're using them basically as a fundraiser, which is great. Um, all the, and then I'm of course doing this on Etsy as well as on um just as well as people who know me is finding me and asking me to make one for them i also do them through facebook so um and so here just because i don't want this to be too long once we get to the middle i start using even smaller brushes um and i just like to go back and forth like I put enough on this one, it's gracious, um, that I didn't have to really add a whole lot of extra ink. Sometimes you have to add more ink because I don't like, see how light it, it is? So when it starts to get that light, I'll just go ahead and add one drop and then kind of move it around. And I'll blow it so it can dry a little bit. And then I'm going to take the brush and then move it to where I want it to be. So in this case, say I'm just, and this is kind of a little too wet. If you saw, it's kind of bubbling up. So you just take some of that alcohol off and then you're able to move it the way that you want. And then if you don't like something, you can always take it away and do it again. So, that's pretty much the process for making a knot. As you can see there, it's super cute. I'm gonna do one more and then this video is gonna be done. So, um, here, I'm gonna start with this smaller brush and I'm gonna make one, I'll make one up here. So again, all I'm doing is pushing that ink into a desired shape. And this is a little too wet. Um, so I'm just gonna push it into a desired shape. Like I said, normally I kinda stick, if you look at knots, they're normally not a straight circle and they're not, truly even so i like them when they're not even and like say if i didn't like this 
All I have to do is do this. So I just do like that. And then I can find a different spot on the cup or, you know, to make it more even, just so, you know, I can do that going back around the cup. And that actually gives it a little bit more character to me. So you just do that all the way around. And then you don't necessarily have where people can say, oh, she made a mistake right there and redid it. So this one is not. There you go. So, um, but like I said, for the sake of this video and showing you guys, I am going to do one more. So again, I'm just damp dab dabbing <laughs> my brush into my alcohol, um, regular alcohol, 91% alcohol. And then I am just pushing the alcohol ink into a desired shape. Um, like that, and once I have my outline of that, you, I mean, like, you could leave it like that, put little lines and ridges in it. Sometimes I take a smaller one and, um, Put a little alcohol ink directly on that one and then I'll do like a, a circle kind of pattern in it and then that way it kind of gives it even more character. So I'll do that and then it looks like the rings, you know, of a tree. So... Sometimes I like to just do that, and I think that is just as cute as that right there. Um, and then with this one, I really don't like how light that is, so I'm gonna, oh no, look what I just did. Okay, so I guess this is a good thing. Again, if something messes up, you just take your brush and fix it. So I can then go back, see how easy that is. I just went back and um, I'm gonna just define those two different spots that I had. Um, just like that. And I'm just going to add a little bit more to the center here. And as you can see, I'm just going backwards and forwards. Once I get to the middle, I just started going back until I get to the very middle. Ah, there's my little one. And then I can um, kind of paint it a little bit, make it a little darker and fill it in the way that I want. So... Um, from here, normally what I do is I let this dry. I found that if you let it dry overnight, it does better with the epoxy. Um, but you can do this in 30 minutes. So, um, but I would at least let it dry 30 minutes. Um, like I said, sometimes I'll go a full day and then I will put a coat of epoxy on it. Once I put that coat of epoxy on it, if I'm gonna put any decals on it, um, I'm gonna show at the end of this when I put it on YouTube. Like I did a baseball one where only half was done or softball, and then the other half was um, a softball yellow color, and I put a decal on it. So anyways, um, so you can do all kinds of fun things with these. And like I said, some of them you just might wanna leave like that. Here is the one that I showed you guys at the beginning. Um, and this doesn't have epoxy on it yet. It's just been sitting. So you can do it with darker colors, lighter colors, blah, blah, blah. But that is pretty much the process. Oh, one more thing. I think this is what helps define um, mine from a lot of other people's is I like to go back and then just put lines going straight down and that seems to give it like a really good wood grain look so 
as you can see, I dipped my brush, I knocked some of that alcohol on, and then I just go up and down right beside each other. Um, and I mean, when you look at that and then you look at this, it just to me looks more like a wood grain pattern. So I'm gonna do this all the way around and underneath um, just to, like I said, make sure it's consistent all the way around. I don't know why I just did that there. But see, if you use too much alcohol, look how I just made that lighter. But you can just keep going over it. And when you get to one of your knots, I just kind of, at first I was going around the knot, which you can, um, which is kind of like this one. I went around the knot, if you look at that pattern. Um, but I found that I kind of just like it going straight up and down. So, um, so anyways, so like I said, I'm going to just do this the rest of the way around. Like I said, I'm just making lines um so that it can define that wood grain pattern a little bit better so um again thank you guys for joining me and watching i hope this was helpful to the young lady who asked me to do this for her i hope it was helpful to everyone who's watched the other video and said hey you keep going off camera because i'm trying to see um i hope this one is a little bit better with the angle of the camera um Again, thank you for watching. Uh, watch some of my other videos where I'm either making now my own alcohol inks or doing other things like this or doing something completely different like making t-shirts. So um, I'll see you guys all the next time. Bye-bye. Hi, Robin. You just got on and I'm getting off. Bye.